Hey YT, what's going on? This is uh Facts Fabulous J. Back here again for the third video of the day. This video is gonna go about a wig. Uh, I've said I'm gonna start doing some wigs. I love wigs. I make my own wigs and I made this one. Okay, I love the hair. It's a virgin. Um what is this? Virgin Indian loose wave or whatever. I like it. I like the way my hair wavy or curly. I will wear it straight but not often because I'm not one to want to curl my hair all the time. Like all you pretty ladies on here. I don't see you take the curl and go, okay I'm a hairstylist. I was a hairstylist for many years. I've said this a thousand times. Um, And back in the day I would love I'd just curl my hair all the time and style and everything. But now I just don't have the patience for it. I need something quick ready to go. I'm trying to go through this natural process with my hair. So it can grow and get full and all this kind of crap. So decided that in between that time I will wear um, wigs that are somewhat similar to how I wear my natural hair. So I saw a young lady on here, a couple of young ladies on here actually, and they had that uh, born free or newborn free <clears throat> cutie curl wig. Um, I have not tried this wig on on me at all. Okay. I've had this wig for about two weeks or so, maybe even a month, and I decided I'm going to do a tutorial on it, and we're going to do this thing together, and pray that it comes out right. <laughs> this is my first time doing that. But anyway, this is right here. I took the little box thing that came around it, but this is it right here. It's cutie curl. So we can try to get together. It's cutie curl. Born free. Let me take this thing. The cutie curl, born free cutie curl, right there, and this is the number. Gotta get that glare off of there. Is that? Let me see. Okay. Anyway, I'll tell you, it is collection 32, item CT32, and this is in a 1B. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sucker out. This is it right here. This is the inside. See the inside? That's combs. This is the front of it. That's the comb. I don't care for the combs. I really don't care for the combs, but today... Instead of me taking the comb out like that, we're going to just keep it in and do what we do. But eventually, I will take the comb out of there. Also has a comb at the bottom. That's the comb at the bottom. Okay, and it also has the tabs to stretch it on out. So, we're going to try this wig on, and we're going to see what happens. I'm gonna take the wig off that I have. This how it looks. It comes like almost with bangs almost. Most people that I see, and then I seen people they almost have like a, a part down the middle too. So let's just see how we're gonna rock this up. Okay? So this is it right here. I love the curl because this do look a lot like uh my hair. So let's just see. Alright, I'm gonna be right back and um we'll take it from there. Right back. Okay, I'm back. This is my hair, as you can see, guys. I'm not putting a stocking cap on or anything like that. My hair um, is in some twists, like a couple of. I twisted it all over, and now this got it in like two little twists going back. <clears throat> so this is the wig. Let's just put this sucker on and let's see what happens. Like I said, first let me fix the tabs in the back. Let's see. We do want it to fit nicely. So. The person that I saw with this on, she had it in a blonde. She got it in the one B first, and then. She went and purchased uh, the one with the two tone, which I really like that. I'm thinking if I like it, I might even purchase the two tone where it's blonde at the top and it's um, black at the bottom. All right, here we go.
pretty snug, I would have to say, on my head. Okay. See how it looks with it just coming in my face. You like it like that. Because okay. I always wear my hair with a part down in the middle, so. Okay. Hmm. I like it. It's funky, it's diva fat, you know? Oh yeah, I could I could go out there. For sure. <clears throat> now let's try this with the part down the middle, like some people wear. Now what I would have done is left some of my hair out, which I do have some of my baby hairs right here. But what I would do is probably leave out just a little bit of my hair when I do wear this. But I'm not in the mood to do all that right now. So this is how it looks like this. Put the part down the middle. Hot. I mean, this is a bad wig, okay? You just put this wig on and just go, okay? I mean, seriously. It's hitting right where it needs to hit, you know. I'm not one to want to have super long afro -y hair. It's just not my thing. But it is hitting right where I would like my own hair to actually hit. So I'm loving this. This is cute. You can see it good. It's really cute. See? Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, let's see again. We're gonna try to see how this gonna part. I mean, with no part. Let's try it in another style. That's too much. Just we like a little bit. Let's pull some over to the side. And now uh, we have it to the side. And that's cute too. Look at that. Okay. This is really cute to the side. Look at that. Mm hmm. This is hot, baby. Okay. This is hot as chili pepper. Mmm. Yes. 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 You know, I was concerned that this wig was going to be, um, too big. You know, I really did. It's not that bad pulling it back. You know, especially if you pull out, if I pulled out a lot more of my baby hair, it wouldn't be that bad just to, like, pull it back off my face like that and just diva it on one side. That would be cute, too. <clears throat> but I was concerned that the wig was going to be too big. I really was. And... One thing people need to understand also, uh, they always complain, oh, it's too big, you know, I had to cut it, and now it's just, I can't get a longevity out of it, and this thing, and well, what I've learned with synthetic wigs, um, professionalism-wise, in the profession that I'm in, you cannot cut these wigs like that, okay, this is rule number one. You get a synthetic wig, you really need to get it the length that you're going to wear it. You cannot get a synthetic wig and start chopping on it. i tell you why. I don't know why this happens, but it happens. Um, you, once you cut that wig, it expands it. And it just makes it bigger. It doesn't sit right. It starts rising to the occasion. You wake up the next day. Some people go to bed with them on, wake up the next day, and it's huge. It's like gangster fat after you cut it but if you notice when you get these wigs and if you don't cut it they last a lot longer I have a wig that I bought from um, misswigs.com and it was that uh, Miss J wig that everybody had with waves to it I had, I've had i had that wig for three years I've even got pictures on here with that wig okay I know it's bad but I can still wear that wig out I can still take pictures with that wig 
it's still lasting. I don't, I didn't know. At first, I was going to bed with it on. But then, you know, I took it off and I started putting it away and all that kind of stuff. But you really don't need to sleep in them. And if you do, you need to put a bonnet on this sucker. This, I'm not sleeping in this wig, honey. This wig is coming off and I'm going to put it away and I'm going to put it on the next day and the day after that. And if I go somewhere and I'm going to do something special or whatever, I'm putting this wig on. Because this looks like me. This looks like my hair. This is how my hair looks. It just ain't this big, which I'm mad about. I wish it would. I'm still waiting for this for my hair to, to, to get, you know, where it needs to be. Like this. This, honey. Mm. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I'm, I'm, I'm not even a, a side bang kind of woman. I don't even like to wear my hair like this. Wore like this for years. It's like putting red lipstick on. You know, I used to wear red lipstick more than anything. And now it's like, you can't pay me to wear red lipstick. Okay? Unless I'm trying to look like Marilyn Monroe. Okay? Um, but this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. You guys need to purchase this. Let me show you the tag one more time. I'm going to leave at the end of this video. I'm going to show you the pictures, how it came. The pictures, how it looks. I'm going to... Leave the link below where I purchased it. The wig only cost $14.99. And then with the shipping, it was under $20. Let's just put it like that. I think total I paid like um, $18.99 for this wig. And it is worth the money. I'm going to buy me another one. And I'm actually, the next time you see me when I do the next one, it's going to be ombre. I'm going to buy the one with the blonde at the top, honey, and the dark hair at the bottom. Because this, hmm, how you like that? Look at that. Mm. Mm. Let me style the profile for you. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> <I'm tripping. laughs> anyway, I love the wig. This is been like that. I, I actually love this wig. So, once again, everybody, this is a newborn free cutie wig. It is a CT32 wig. Um, and I'm loving it. So, you guys, if you like, if you're natural, you know, you're a person that loves natural hair, because that's just how you're going, and that's how things is rolling. And even when you want to have um your protective style, but still look like, you know, you rocking your hair, then, baby, this is what you need to get, okay? This is cute, especially for synthetic hair. I'm loving it. Let me do it one more time for you. You back up so I can get the right light in. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm glad I can get rid of this double chin. I know that, but honey, yes. <laughs> get you one. Fourteen ninety nine. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.